<laughs> so yesterday's announcement that you know who is kicking up. <laughs> Don't make her say it. <laughs> You know who. I know who. <laughs> He's kicking abortion rights back to the states. It's not landing well. It landed with a thud with a ton of conservatives. Now, his former VP, his minion, Lindsey Graham, and anti-abortion <laughs> activists are slamming it as a betrayal to people who voted for him in 2016 and 2020. What is it? Voted for him in 2016 and 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did I... Well, they voted for him, and both of those people who voted for him voted in those elections. Okay, those yeah. real Trumpers. Right. But right. he lost, right? Well, yeah, yeah. He maybe. lost. <laughs> he lost big, yeah. Okay. Bigly. I just... Second time. Just Bigly. wanted to Bigly. make sure I wasn't <laughs> wrong here. Yeah. In any case, uh, do you think this is going to cost him uh, a little piece of his base if he doesn't take a more definitive stance? Because uh, Biden-Harris have promised that they will make Roe v. Wade the law of the land if Congress passes the bill. So, I think that Trump stands to lose more from the general election, the broader electorate, than the base. Now, what Pence is doing is important, and I would note, Donald Trump has not come clapping back at Mike Pence for no. his statement, which was much harsher than Lindsey Graham. Because Pence does reflect where a lot of Christians and Catholics are on this issue, which is immovable. But that's a small minority that I believe will come back to Trump. Where Trump knows abortion hurts him is with moderates and centrist Republicans. I can speak from personal experience. <coughs> I have my personal convictions about abortion. I don't believe I would personally get one. But Republicans are like the dog that caught the car. So now we see this tapestry of laws where you have ultra-restrictive laws like Texas, where even a woman who wanted to have a baby could nearly lost her life and nearly lost her fertility because we can't get our hands around what a compromise on this issue that allows some access and protects the life of the mother. It is a major, major loser for Republicans. Yep. And Trump oddly recognizes that. This is one of the weird ones where he has a good political instinct on it. I just don't know how he runs away from it because he is on tape yeah. saying, I am responsible for yeah. taking down Roe. Right. It's a gift to the Democrats, but... <laughs> Democrats can't make it the only thing they're running on. They've got to talk border. They've got to talk economy. They've got to talk about... Economy's good. Well, and they need to be promoting yeah. that because abortion cannot be a singular unifying issue for the country. There's so much more that... Well, you never about. know. I mean, you never know. People keep busting out with all kinds of stuff now. Well, I mean, but I was a little surprised that Lindsey Graham, who has been on his knees uh, for... <laughs> At the temple mm -hmm. at of the this man, of Trump. Yeah. and did not start out that way. Yeah, and many of them have done that. They've all sort of fallen to their knees, and they've been worshiping him. And, and I'll tell you, I mean, I actually don't think that it will move um, a lot of the Trumpers, a lot of that MAGA base. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with Alyssa that it may shift some independence. It may shift some. It, it, it will shift women. It will shift. Um, um, independence, but the, the interesting thing for me is not so much about his, you know, position on abortion because I, I think he's morally bankrupt, and so the bottom line is he's going to say whatever he needs to say to get reelected, mm -hmm. stay out right. of jail. Um, I thought what was very interesting is that in front of his billionaire donor base, which mm -hmm. he raised fifty million dollars recently, he started talking about immigration, mm -hmm. and he started using this white nationalist rhetoric to a crowd of people who were sort of cheering him on. He was saying things like, "Why can't we get the nice immigrants from?" Denmark. You know why? Because they're happy in Denmark. They wouldn't come here. You know, we, they, they're well, very say, happy over there. Why don't we just there. get the white immigrants? Well, that's, well, that's, what, he nice. that's what, total, what he meant. That's what he meant. It was total dog well, whistle there's, and the white other reason is They know you're running for president here. Why would they come here? <laughs> they're not. Exactly. They're not. They're not coming. <laughs> but you know, they're happy. They're just, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's what, happy. you know. Well, things, number one, yes. this, first of all, Pence, Lindsay, Graham and, and Trump are fighting to see who could make women's lives more miserable. Yeah. That's like what they're really fighting for. How can we really destroy women in this country? That's it. Lindsey Graham it will be on his knees, flying down to Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. If he rain. had a spine, yeah. he could sit up right on the plane, but he doesn't have a spine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's he going to do? I mean, he just goes back and forth yeah. trying to get his pension. By and by the oh. way, I saw an interview with a MAGA the other day that mm. really blew my mind. These people will not be moved. No, they won't. There is no way. There was a con I think it was a construction worker, and one of these guys goes around talking to them and saying, he said to him, um, listen, um, 
do you, uh, you're voting for Trump. Oh, yeah, he's my man and all that stuff. <laughs> and then he said, did you know that he doesn't pay his workers? Right. And the guy goes... Oh, I saw that. Oh, I, I, I don't think that's true. You know, he watches Fox. I don't think that's true. He says, no, it's really true. I can document it for you if you like. And he goes, and he thinks about it. He said, well, even if it's true, they probably deserved it. Yes. Okay, this is a I working man, a working man. How In the would, same business. How would he like it if it's Trump stiffed him? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah. These people need to understand that he will also stiff you. He's you not are the not, working but, class. Uh, you are not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here, immune yeah. to Trump's He's not vengeance the working class. and craziness. He was saying in front okay. of these billionaires, I gave you all the, mm -hmm. the best pay uh, tax cuts <clears throat> in the country, and I'll do it again. He didn't give a student loan debt the way Biden is. No. He didn't give people jobs the way Biden has. He hasn't done any and of the things. And how much money did he even build a wall? The but this, this election isn't going to be decided by the MAGAs. The MAGAs aren't moving. The 30 to 40 percent who are going to die hard be with him. Right. But there is a voting block that's up for grabs. And what I thought was actually remarkable. I don't think remarkable, the evangelicals are up for, up for grabs. But again, I think that's a portion of. The, I actually don't know if I think that that's true. I, I know many. I'm Episcopalian, but I know many Christian Republicans who cannot be with Trump. But if Donald you look Trump. at Iowa, the Iowa caucuses, they totally but went for. There's him. so many different kind of sects within. The Christian Church, sects within the Christian Church, and we kind of go different right. places. Sex and I think, I think, I think morally, <laughs> some of us, -C morally, yeah. some of us can't yeah. be with Trump. Yeah. But the point I wanted to make is. <laughs> Lindsey Graham suddenly getting a spine on abortion restrictions? Why not Ukraine aid? This guy made his whole yeah. personality being a hawk, wanting to stand up for U.S. leadership abroad, and he caved on aid to Ukraine at a moment when it could save millions of Ukrainian lives. He's also morally bankrupt. Listen, and, and they have no cash right in their the, bank account. Like, <laughs> the bottom line is it doesn't matter if they're morally bankrupt. Where do we stand as voters? Yeah. That's the question. That's the only yeah. question you have to answer. You know, which world do you want to live in? Which country do you want to live in? You want to live in a potentially fascist country, or you want to live in a country where we can all fight to get where we need to what be do you want to together? Live in Denmark. <laughs> no. I